Hi Brock, it's Clara. Guess what? I'm getting ready for homecoming and you're not. You know why? Because you have no school spirit. Yeah. Dress. I brought it from Julianne. It's strapless and we attached metal things. Excuse the boobies. And why is he not hair. getting ready for homecoming? Because he has no school spirit. <laughs> why do you look better than me? Why Hi. Do you look better than me? Hi. Lucy just ate a quiche. I just ate a quiche. I'm always eating on videos. Yeah. First it was a bagel. Instead of homecoming, I babysitted. Sat. The, babysat. Babysitted the most hellish kid ever. It was disgusting. I, it was a 24 hour gig and I didn't get paid anything. And I almost you hung didn't? myself. No, I didn't get paid at all. It's awful. Did you, uh. Lucy, what happened to my computer? Oh, shit! Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> so, wait, wait, wait. Lucy, can you, like, angle the monitor over? Lucy took my other computer and it just keeps uploading more and more. <laughs> When I was uh, in elementary school and until seventh grade, when I got braces, I had a huge gap in my teeth. They were like overbite, and it was awful. And uh, I got braces, and I got a retainer, and so it's supposed to fix it. But then I lost my retainer, so I'm fucking screwed. My parents don't know I've lost it yet, and. It would have been okay, but, uh, what? Did you just chug a banana? So I have this dilemma, and that is, uh, I have, like, two big passions in life, and that's singing, and specifically I like singing opera, and then there's, uh, Color Guard, which I really love. Like, really love. And I love them almost equally, but I spend a lot more time, I think, in band, Color Guard, than I do in, uh, choir. And um I met some I met this I met um some people who marched on the Santa Clara Vanguard, which is really really a really good uh drum corps group and an international I, I didn't think about it at the time, like it wasn't a big deal to me because I didn't love it as much as I love it. I mean I love it, but I didn't love it as much. Well, what happened then and then a couple weeks ago I really started giving it some thought and now and just just today, I was um, we were talking in band about how we wanted to get better, like really better. We were talking about how we really wanted to be good and how we wanted to make our last competition, which is this Saturday, really good. And I made a comment. I said, uh, "See, at my school, you get credit for being uh, on marching band and color marching band color guard. You don't have to be in both, but you get credit for being in the class PE credit. So we don't have to do like swimming. And so we." And, uh, but you only need two years of it to, you know, get out of the dead and they move on and they don't, you know, they do other classes. But for the juniors and seniors who don't need any more PE credits, we, you know, you either keep doing it because you enjoy the sport or told everyone, well, um, we should be getting better because you need to evaluate why you're in this class. I mean, some people are in it because we need the PE credits. Can you play and you didn't want to be in regular phys ed? And so I said, well, a lot of us are out of phys ed now. A lot of us are juniors and seniors. We don't need the PE credits, and we, you, and we're still in it. Why are we in it if we don't want to be good? Why are we in band if we don't want to win? Why are we in band if we don't enjoy it? And personally, I'm so obsessed with it that I really do want to be 
uh, I want to be good, like really, really. So that's what that's what I said during the um, meeting. And so later when we were practicing on the field, and um, the drum line coach came over to me and said and asked me if I'd ever and asked me. He says, "Did you ever think about being on about DCI? That's Drum Corps International. For those who don't know, I've said it like three times." I said, yeah, of course I have, I guess, or sort of. Um, and so he said, well, have you heard of Pacific Crest? I was like, I had. I had done a little research beforehand. Pacific Crest is a, they're a drum corps that works there, and it's teenage, it's 14 to something or not, some of age, I don't remember. And so they work over the summer, and auditions are coming up in December. He said I, he thought I had the attitude for it. <sighs> I think he's wrong. But here's where the uh, dilemma comes in. Over the summer, I also intended on doing more opera camp stuff, which is um, because I my other passion is singing and I love opera. Pacific Crest is all summer. The opera programs that I would do over the summer would be sleepaway, basically. Um, there's one in San Diego, which is too far away for me to drive every day. The other opera thing is the Tanglewood Institute in Boston, which... I would love to do and a friend in band recommended to me. So there's that. And since Boston's in Massachusetts and I'm in California, it makes it really hard for me to do anything else California related when I'm there. Both look really good on college applications. Ugh! So, uh, second thing, I went to homecoming, the dance and the football game. I had to go to the football game. Uh, we won again. We're actually at CIF now. I'm so proud of us. Like, I'm really proud because our, our football team sucked last year. That was my first year of band. It was awful because band and football have this, like, history of being really nasty to each other. This year, they don't suck as much. It's really cool because we actually win, and it makes it really fun to go to games that I have to go to anyway. At the dance, we danced a lot. I had a dress that I wore that you'll see in the clip I made beforehand. Um, and it had cha uh, it was a strapless dress. But I attached a chain around the neck like a halter because the when I wore it the last time it kept falling off. And the chain was made by my other friend Jenna who um, we wound two necklaces together and sa safety pinned them on the inside. And I had imprints of safety pins on my chest at the end of the night. I had an epic toe fail today. I can't think of anything else that happened but that was kind of an update on what's been going on. Also, in band we, they've been making this video yearbook thing. We've been having our marching te our marching instructors uh, like he he runs a video production thing on the side. So we he's having his like workers come and videotape us when we do like when we practice and when we do performances and it's really cool. But at the same time he always seems to be filming me when I do the weirdest stuff. Like I was doing like a hoedown basically. And I turned around and I was just like, you know, acting really crazy and I say really stupid stuff and every time there's this guy with a camera pointed it in our direction, specifically like my direction. So I'm pretty sure they have like 500 hours of me just looking like girls on guard know I'm weird. Now the entire band's probably gonna get to see me hoeing down. Caroline, Brock, anyone else?